Hi, this is Chandni from Keetalicious and last week we went over all the wide variety of foods you can eat while eating ketogenically. This week I would like to talk to you about how to sustain keto, uh, the benefits and side effects of eating ketogenically. But first, those of you who do not have a gallbladder or have damaged kidneys, are pregnant women, um, if you have a pre-existing fatty liver condition, please do talk to your doctors about the possibility of eating ketogenically. You need to ease into it. There's a way to get you into that. Uh, you don't just dive right in. Please definitely do um, uh, plan your way of eating under the guidance of somebody who knows what they're doing. For the rest of you, dive right in. Besides the most obvious one, weight loss, fat loss actually more than just the number on the scale, is increased mental and physical energy, glowing skin, um, great hair, um, you know, a drastic decrease in inflammation in your body and therefore or any issues you might have related to inflammation. Uh, all in all, the pros outweigh the cons. is uh, predominantly one. We talked about it earlier, the keto flu, which could result in something called brain fog, where you're feeling foggy, not completely alert, headaches, uh, maybe a wee bit of fever, a little bit of chill, uh, body ache. This, please understand, lasts for a very short period of time. This doesn't mean you're falling ill. This basically means that your body is making the switch from using carbohydrates starch and sugar for its fuel to using fat for its fuel. It's a good thing, okay? Of course, if it lasts like really long, do talk to the person you're, uh, you know, who's guiding you in your way of ketogenic eating. Uh, do your research. Uh, there are ways to take care of it, but don't worry. Well, first of all, again, it's mind over matter. Mm. Secondly, I personally do allow myself a treat meal, you know, once in a while, maybe once in a week, 10 days. Um, I plan it well and I eat all the foods that I might think I enjoy. Uh, strangely, I don't feel like eating as much when I do sit down to eat it, but I don't deprive myself. Now, I understand this comes after years of eating ketogenically. I would say at least give it 30 days, no treat, and then maybe, you know, once in a while you include it. The reason being, if you have not shut off all possibilities in your head, you will find it easier to sustain it. Focus on overall nutrition and well-being rather than just a number on the scale. That number can change due to a variety of reasons and it should not, the weighing scale should not dictate how you are feeling about yourself. That is the most important thing. Eat nutritiously while eating ketogenically. Eat wholesome food, eat delicious food. And I promise you, you will not want to change this way of eating. I hope this series has helped you um, understand the, the way to eat ketogenically, the correct way to eat ketogenically, uh, the enjoyable way to eat ketogenically. Um, I've done my best, the rest is up to you. Uh, as always, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to healthshots.com for your daily dose of wellness. Bye.